Okay, so we are going to have a one case study today. So let's start. Coral restoration at Meethapur. Coral restoration at Meethapur, Gujarat. In Gujarat, there is a place, a small village type area. It is Meethapur. Okay, and this is Gulf of Kutch. Here is Poshitara. They both are in the Jamnagar district of Gujarat. Two or three rivers are here also. One river is, this is river Bhuki. Ek or river thi, it was a Nagwati. Okay, one more river is here. It is river Rukhmavati. From here, we also are getting the flow of water of Indus. One fact about Mithapur is that soon the first coral garden in India is going to be set up at Mithapur. First coral garden of India. And here are corals. Okay, so this is about the Mithapur. Main locations, rivers that are flowing out. The problem here is that this is the coral reef area. And this coral reef area is facing the stress or in technical terms, I would say it is a coral bleaching, which is happening in this area. So, pehle to batao ke corals ke kuch facts hai wo kar lete hai, that they are the tropical rainforest of sea. And what are their uses? Kya karte hai wo? Biodiversity. They are biodiverse, uh, biodiverse areas. They are bioindicators. Prevent coastal erosion, recreational activities. Okay, what else happens? Yes, coastal erosion. Safeguard marine life. Yes, because these corals are the grounds for feeding multiple organisms. Act as a filter. Shelter, medicinal use. Okay. Another is that some of the islands are also coral in origin. In the Indian Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. So these are also providing habitations to the humanity also. Okay. So over the period of time, what we have been witnessing is that the corals are under stress and they have been facing the coral bleaching. So factors kya hote hai coral bleaching ke? Reasons kya hai? Global warming, rising temperature, because uh, these corals are sensitive to heat. Okay. Another disease or invasive species sedimentation okay if there is more turbidity if there is more turbidity less sunlight would penetrate into the sea or ocean okay so obviously that would affect their ecosystem okay or a xenobiotics be a xenobiotics means if there is any chemical that is foreign to the animal life that is the xenobiotics okay yes so, what has happened in this particular area is, first is that sea surface temperature. Researchers have, have revealed that in the month of summers, the temperature in this particular area in some of the years have increased from 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. Especially in the El Nino year. Ek to ye ho gaya. Mining. Sand mining. The locals of Meethapur and this Poshitara, the locals of these areas or these two villages are rampantly engaged in sand mining. Okay. Sand ma mafias are working here and these villagers are hand in gloves with them and they are engaged in sand mining. So sand mining is leading to sedimentation. Okay. Another is that the silts or sedimentation that have been brought by river Indus and other few rivers. But I am Nagwati hai, Bhuki hai, and this one is Rukmavati. So all these rivers while flowing are bringing the sediments into this area. Okay, usi ki waise wo, wo turbidity or wo sab penetration na ho pana. Fourth point is that the locals, locals here, are using the bamboo poles. Bamboo poles are used to anchor the boats in these re regions. And this Meethapur coral reef is a shallow reef. Okay, here is a shallow reef. Hai. Because it is a shallow reef, the bamboo poles they have been using 
while boating or while anchoring the boats it sometimes hits the corals that are below the sea as the bamboo poles hits the coral corals gets overturned and it affects the corals also okay bamboo poles another reason is that in the four months june july august and september district administration has banned the fishing in this area four months okay in these four months district administration has banned the fishing and what the locals did is they are injecting the poison why they are injecting the poison to kill the fishes so that they could escape the law or the guidelines that have been issued by administration so they are not fishing but they are killing the fishing killing the fishes so that those dead fishes could be sold out in the market theek hai ban karte hain jo dead fishes can be sold out in market theek hai abhi batao aur point batao kuch disease two important disease have been infected in this area or have been cropped over the period of time these two are one is the coral tumor and another is the white syndrome disease coral tumor and white syndrome disease these are two disease they are infecting the corals in this region theek hai seventh point aur batao invasive species that is sargassum this is the macroalgae macroalgae sargassum these invasive species there is a competition started between these coral reefs and this sargassum because when ever any coral reef is under stress or koi bhi agar aap logo ko bhi diabetes hai to dheere dheere jo hai dusri disease bhi hone lagenge ya kuch aur bhi hai to kuch aur usko pakad lega to similarly as these coral reefs are under stress they have already been suffering they are under bleaching so invasive species started invading into their territory and this is sargassum which is posing a tough competition to coral reefs to ye jo factors hain inki wajah se jo hai it led to the coral bleaching ab government ne kya kiya hai so government gujarat environment and ecology foundation plus zoological survey of india plus wildlife trust of india theek hai they combined together and they used an innovative technology that is the bio rock technology gujarat ecology and environment foundation zoological survey of india and wildlife trust of india theek hai there is a technology bio rock technology is being used across the world to revive or restore the coral reefs theek hai so bio rock technology ka ek issue ye hai ke it is not 100% coral bleaching jab hoti hai so that it turns the corals turn out to be a white in color and they break down into small fragments so the bio rock technology is isme hota kya hai if the coral fragments are small in size the survivability rate of these corals increase up to 90% jitna chhota piece hoga jitna chhota coral reef ka wo hoga size uski survivability rate utna hi zyada hoga okay so this is about the coral reefs biotechnology actually this biotech bio rock technology it is based on the principle of electro accumulation that is cathode anode and all hota kya hai isme bata deta hu chalo ye bhi basically ek steel framework banaya ek steel framework has been made and they started passing the electric current while they pass the electric current if you have read about the cathode and anode you know that the moment you are passing the current the minerals started accumulating to the their favorable side cathode or anode theek hai to usme hoga kya ki minerals started depositing on this corner minerals which are required or the electrolysis that's it theek hai minerals that are conducive and favorable to the limestone uh, this coral reefs theek hai so all those minerals started accumulating at the, these zones yahan pe yahan pe so what they are doing they are tying the small fragment of corals to this yahan pe is mineral accumulation body ke sath tie up so 
slowly and gradually over the period of time these corals revive and rejuvenated so yeah yeah this is about the coral reef restoration in mithapur gujarat okay